Pride Elegance headquarters in Redmond, Oregon. And today... We're here to talk about bonders. Yes. It's all about bonding. You know, you yeah. got to bond. <laughs> you do. We do you have do. great chemistry. And to have great chemistry, you got to bond well. Yes, and people always forget that bonding in a set of nails is extremely important. That is what is going to make your product stick to the nail. Um, it seems like such a small or a simple step, but well, it's I was extremely thinking, important. And it's kind of boring. Really? I mean, is yeah. it really exciting? Yeah, no, bondings no, aren't. No. So when you prep the nail, you clean it, Lexi's right, the bonders help adhere to the nail. Yes. So we were getting ready to do this video, and actually we do research sometimes, right? So I thought, well, I'm going to go straight to the chemist because bonding is very, it's, it's a technical. Well, and we have four different ones. And I know you guys sit there and go, well, when do I use this? And how do I use this? Exactly. And in what situation would I use this? But that's what this video is all about. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to run out and talk to Jim real fast, the chemist. And I said, Jim, just give me, I, I know the bonders really well, but this is very technical and I want to make Maybe sure some I Maybe some notes. Have some perfect like stuff. Notes. So he starts talking. I'm like, oh my gosh, he is good. Yeah. So I asked him to be a guest on our little show. Well, hell's bells. And what did he say, mother? He accepted. He accepted. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he gave me his exact time. So who wants it. to hear about the bonders from Jim McConnell? I do. I heard a lot of yeses. Yes. So, so, so that's exciting. We are going to talk bonders with Jim McConnell, the chemist of Light Elegance. Woo! Well, Mr. McConnell. Yes, Mrs. McConnell. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel like I'm stuck in the middle. Stuck you in are. the middle of some Q-tips? Yeah. <laughs> some cute Q-tips. Q-tip A, Q-tip B. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here. We, your time, it's hard to get, Jim. If any of you are here, you realize how, you know, he's busy up in the lab doing his thing. And so we're, we're kind of honored to have you. Yeah. We, I'm honored to be here. We pull him down from the tower and yeah. let him the talk. The tower, oh, sounds so important. All right. We have four bonders. We have Air Bond, Vita Prime, TAC, and then our power bonds. Power bonds comes in two colors. Why don't you tell us what makes Air Bond so special, Jim? Air Bond is completely unique than the others because uh, it is a moisture cure product. When I'm talking about moisture, I'm talking about water. I'm not talking about oil. So we're talking about water on the fingernail or in the fingernail or in the environment. So let's say we're in South Texas down by the Gulf where it's humid. And if you have clients there, often your times you find they perspire a lot. So for that perspiration, it carries mostly water, and we need to get that water off of the fingernail. Airbond does a great job for that. So it actually reacts with the water in the fingernail, pulls it out of the equation so the rest of the system can adhere. So that is Airbond. Wow. That was, and I think the key thing is that you told me that I really got a lot out of when we were talking is that a lot of people think it's, there's a difference between um, oils and moisture. Well, yeah, a lot of nail technicians refer to moisture, but they're referring to putting oil or a cream or a lotion on the hand to give the skin some moisture. We're referring to water moisture, not oil moisture, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? So the true definition, as, a, as opposed to an oily substance you put on someone's skin. So air bond would be used on uh, humidity, places with high humidity. People or, who sweat a lot. Or people who, sometimes you live in a dry climate and you have clients that sweat a lot. Lexi, did you put your deodorant on this I morning? I did actually. It's an issue. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> winning over here, winning. You know it's gonna be in her stocking stuffer? <laughs> <laughs> right guard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so moving on to Vita Prime. So tell us all. And this about is a little bit on the newer side. So um, this is what about a year old? Newer for us, old technology. Some people really love an acid-based primer. Mm -hmm. Vita Prime. So if that's what you want, you want an acid-based primer. You want to have stuff that's going to stick to the nails, um, and do something that you're really familiar with. Vita Prime is great. It does have a little bit of vitamin E in there. So the vitamin E acts almost like a buffer. Mm. So that if the product, if the, there is some sort of adhesion failure, your natural nail isn't completely torn apart. Uh, so the vitamin E does help out with that. So Vita Prime, it doesn't cure. Also Airbond is not a non-curing product. No, they, the Airbond does oh, cure, it but is. it's a moisture cure, right. not a light cured product. Right. So it cures by the air. Right. But you don't put by your... By moisture in the air. Right. So you don't put your hand in the lamp. Don't put your hand no. in the lamp. And same with this. So the, your uh, Vita Prime is great. So you're going to you're gonna clean your nail, kind of rough it up with your file, cleanse it again. Clean again. And put just a little, little mm -hmm. itty bitty bit of Vita Tiny Prime on Tiny bit there. on there. Can't emphasize that enough. 
we're looking at taking the brush out of the bottle, wringing it around a little bit, trying to get off any excess product that might be dripping down to the bristles, yeah. and then put a small dot on the nail. Yeah, I noticed. You don't want it to, to go into the skin. So, because if it gets in contact with the skin, it could cause a chemical burn, and we don't want that. Mm -hmm. We don't need that there. Okay, because I noticed when Selena applies it, she does a dot right above the cuticle in right. the center of the nail. And let it spread out. Just boop, boop, boop. How's, yeah. that, how's Which, that go? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, but it, it shows how little you have to put on, though. You don't need to no, waste you product need... and no, dog your nail. You're not brushing it on. You're not waiting for some dollop or drop to hit the nail and then go everywhere. You just want a small, small, small amount. It is a strong adhesion too, and you can use it with your gels and your acrylics. Mm -hmm. So it is, especially for those clients, it's hard to get Problem anything to, uh, to adhere to their nails. Put Vitaprime on, it'll adhere. So that's awesome. Next we have TAC. TAC. Tell Form us about tell us about TAC. What Form are his Formerly traits? known as Bonder. Yes, but it's but no longer Bonder. But we can't call it Bonder anymore? No, no, it's TAC. So TAC. TAC is, and that, that was our, basically our first bonding product that we came out with. It is incredible because mm -hmm. it'll prep a glue on tip. It'll prep an acrylic nail. It'll prep any kind of glue and resin system. What do you mean system. by prep? Explain that a little bit. So those systems can be a little difficult for products to adhere to. However, with TAC, it will adhere to it. What it does is it actually dissolves that resin system that's on there, mixes the bonding resins with the acrylic, with the powder and glue system, and once you cure it, it locks those two systems together. Now you have a gel that's chemically and physically bonded mm. to the acrylic or the glue and powder system underneath. And then you can put your gel on top of that and everything will adhere. If okay. you have if you have a glue on tip, sorry. That's okay. If you have a glue on tip, if you want to prep that, you don't have to file it. You can just glue it on. Make sure it's blended if you need to blend it, but put some tack on it and it will dissolve the ABS plastic of the tip. Have that gel bonding resin sticking to the top. Cure that up in a light, and then afterwards, go ahead and put your acrylic on. So basically, when you glue your tip on, you do not have to prep it with a, with a file. So right. you can just put. You don't the, have to rough it up. That's no nice to know. Well, that's a whole step you can eliminate. Yeah. So you're going to glue it on, then you just put the bonder over the top of your plastic tip, right. and then it is ready to uh, have the gel adhere to it. Ready to go to the next stage. That is the awesome. Other, the other great thing about TAC is that it works as a line out. So if you have a lift area mm. and you're filing and filing and if you, if you still have that little lift and you can see it, if you put down the TAC, it wicks into that area. Mm -hmm. When you cure it, it locks the system together. So then you don't see that. You don't see it. So he's very talented. He's an oldie but goodie. <laughs> very talented. Does he's a awesome. lot of Would things. Would you say he's our most popular? I would say he's our most popular. He's yes. my most popular. Oh, well, coming from Jim. I love this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, awesome. you uh, this, you're going to prep the nail, you're going to cleanse the nail, you're going to prep the nail, then you're going to cleanse the nail again, and then you're going to add your tack, a very small amount, but you cover the entire. But it's more of a brushing technique okay. as opposed to just a small, Cuticle small free edge. touch right. with the brush. And awesome for plastic brand. tips. Right. Very nice. Okay, uh, the two, these two are the same. We do have one in pink and one in clear, and that is Power Bond. Ooh. Love the name. I do great too. Great name. I love Power what, Bond. Tell us what's so great about Power Bond. Power Bond is, you ever have a client that sits down in your chair and you file on them with your file, and then you look at the nail after you've been filing on that nail for a little bit, and it looks like you never touched it at all? I call those, and it's not very attractive, but hoof nails. So if you have a nail <laughs> Hope no one calls is, me a hoof nail. <laughs> is so hard that you just keep on prepping and nothing's ever happening, and then products have, a tr have trouble sticking to those. So with Power Bond, you put a little bit of Power Bond on there, and it bonds to those super strong, extremely hard, usually quite thick nails. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Power Bond is great for. So, so it's strong. It's, you say it's one of our strongest bonding agents. Right. But the thing is... But it's also a very hard product. Hard. So over So it doesn't nails. have a lot of flexibility. So, so over like a really weak nail. A real that. flimsy, weak... Wouldn't wimp, go good. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy nail. No, no you no, don't want to no. use it on okay. those. If you do try it, make sure you put it on extremely thin. And, and I can't emphasize extremely thin enough. Mm -hmm. We're talking about... A quarter of the thickness of a sheet oh. of paper. 
Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> um, He's a rookie <laughs> at this. <laughs> I gotta turn my phone so off. Who is it? No, <laughs> maybe they'll join the phone call. <laughs> yes, anybody interested? Who knows? So anyway, so that's kind of the scenario with the uh, with the power bond, and it does come in the two in clear and pink. And also, over a natural nail, you know, a stronger natural nail. Doesn't it also work as a base coat as well as a bonding agent? Like, so you wouldn't have to put one step down or a manicure gel? It, it can be used that way. Okay. Right. With so, really short nails? Yeah. yeah. Well, because the, the viscosity of Power Bond is thicker, thicker. than the rest mm -hmm. of ours. So some people could use it as, as a base coat. And if you're doing really short yes. natural nails, then it does save you a step. So you don't have to apply the, um, you know, manicure. So Power Bond is extremely strong. It doesn't have a lot of flexibility. So as Jim said, it's absolutely fabulous for really those thick, strong nails. It's perfect for that. If your client has really thin, flimsy nails, you're better off with something like TAC. TAC. Yes. Or Air Bond, because oftentimes people with really thin nails oh. have a lot of moisture in them. That's good to know. That is good to know. I have another question too. I have another answer. A lot of people do a double bondage. They put mm. on air bond, they put on tack, or they Sounds put like on... a personal problem. Yeah. <laughs> Keep She's it behind closed serious doors. Now. <laughs> so what's the deal? Does that does that actually benefit by double bonding or why yeah. do people yeah. do that? Some people do that. Let's say if you're in an area where a lot of people don't come in for a service every two to three weeks, maybe they're coming every four to six weeks, oh. getting something with a lot more adhesion for that extra length of time okay. is very beneficial. Okay. So you might put, say, tack underneath, oh, sorry, Vita Prime underneath tack, and then put product on top of that. I know that Selena likes using Power Bond. Yeah, she loves Power Bond. Right. And she'll use a little bit of tack underneath. Power. No, that's no, that's Vita Prime. Oh, Vita Prime. <laughs> we can't Power see them. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Vita Prime's a white guy. Yeah. So Vita Prime underneath your underneath the Power Bond. The Power Bond. Okay. So it sounds like Vita Prime can really go well with all of them to so, double bond. So can Air Bond. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Wow. But seldom will you use something like tack underneath a Power Bond. Okay. 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 So wow, we've that's got a lot of information. You, that, that's a lot of bonding going on. That hey guys, is, want to that is. I'll leave them alone. <laughs> anyway, well, Mr. McConnell, we'd Mrs. like to McConnell, thank you for coming and talking been a to pleasure. us. Yes, it's always a pleasure. Daughter, McC <laughs> Daughter McClellan. Daughter McClellan. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure. We're all a bunch of mix. Um, we're gonna have you back. I think these people would like to hear from me again. Yeah, so comment, comment below and right. let us know if you guys are interested Absolutely. in hearing more chemistry talk comment from Jim below. McConnell. Comment below. I anyway, those are your bonders. If you, uh, as always, um, if you have questions, email us. Uh, go online and ask us. And um, but we hope this helps you guys out. Yes. Call. Yes. So anyway, as I said before, we do have great chemistry, and um, we're all gonna go bond. A family <laughs> that bonds together stays together. That's right. Bye, Thank you guys. guys.